iClass, just continuing on with what we were looking at before with our if then else if then end if statements. I just want to show you how to do it again um, that in a way that is less typing and makes a smaller program, although it will have exactly the same output, the exact same result. If you look at this um, web program that we just looked at, good evening, good morning, good evening version one, you'll see that it tests for um, a certain condition here clock.hour less than 12 and then it tells it to execute then do this execute these statements here and then you're finished that means you're finished doing everything that you had to do if that there was true if that there is not true it was jumping through to this next line straight after this block here which was the partner to the if and if. So if this is not true, it jumps onto the next lot of code straight after this block of code. There's a block of code. That block of code goes together. That condition there, if this condition is true, clock.hour is less than 12, then do this statement, execute this statement, and then this tells me here that I'm all finished now with what I have to do if that was true. So if that's not true, we jump through to this block of code here and this tests out, is this true, this one here, and we know that that's true, then we have to execute this statement and this tells us you're all done with all, everything you had to do that went with the instructions if that was true. So let's find a more efficient way to do this. If you think of the 24 hour clock, it's either before midday or after midday. There's no other way around it. So this is either true or it's not. So it can test out that and find out, oh, okay, we're before midday. I have to do this. And then it finishes. But what we also could have done, instead of having these statements here, end if, if, I could have just said, else. This is a new way of doing it. I could have just said else. I don't need to contest this out, do I? Because I already know that if that it is the opposite, it's other than this. If this is true, then do that. Otherwise, else, else means otherwise here, do this. If this is true, do this. Otherwise, do that. And now we're finished with all the things that we had, that we were testing for. I'll go over that again. If this is true, do this. Else, which is another word for otherwise, else, do this. And that tells me that we're finished with all the things that we were testing for, all the conditional stuff, all the things that could only happen if something was true. That tells me we're finished. And I talked to you before about it's like the body slash body that we've learned in HTML. These things go together. So this actually should run the same result as the previous version that we had under version two. So here I'm just looking at it. Good afternoon. It knows that we're in good afternoon. So I'm going to save this as good morning and I will call it v2 I don't need to call it a small basic there so now I've saved that you just check that you have that got got the understanding for that um, I'll get you to close down this YouTube clip and see if you can do that yourself start afresh don't start with version one start with your own version two and start and see if you can get what we've done here. Hopefully I've explained it well. It didn't sound very good to me as I was doing it, but if you listen to it a few times, I think you'll get it. Good luck.